All right, thank you for coming in today. It's, uh, welcome to Target. Hello. All right, so um, you're here for an interview for an operations position? Yes. All right, awesome, great stuff. All right, so we're going to go over a few questions that I have for you today. Uh, thank you for coming in. You're welcome. All right. So the first question we, I have for you is, wh what would you describe your weaknesses? Time management and basically social anxiety. I don't do well with a group, a group of people of, you could say, more than 30. I get anxiety, so I tend to like just like to I'm reserved, but when my anxiety takes place, or it's when it's it's pretty, um, and it gets pretty intense. So my social anxiety tends to be one of my number one weaknesses, and then the second one is time management. Um, as far as time management goes, how do you think it'll affect your job here uh, as an operations? As an operational manage manager, if I do get the position and to include it side by side with time management, I like working on my own. So I would be, if I'm in an office, I would have an open door system to where it's not gonna, it's not to where someone has to like, you know, schedule an appointment for me. They could just walk in if they have any questions or concerns, if they have any questions about their family, their job, I have an open door policy. Okay. All right. Um, so the next question that I have for you is going to be, uh, can you describe a time when your work was criticized? Yes, I was working on a specific project, and at the beginning, I was already criticized due to the fact that of my family background. And when my family background was put as a concern, the project was canceled. So I continued working on the project until it was completed. I turned in the project. The hiring manager was really impressed with the results, offered me the position, but I didn't accept it due to the fact that I felt um, criticized on my appearance and my family life. And then the next question that I have for you uh, is going to be, what kind of goals do you have? Would, would you have in mind if you got this job? My goal is to make sure that I am focused on my specific tasks and projects that I'm given. And since I have, since I need to work on my time management, I'll be researching on how to help myself to improve my time management. And while I'm working, if I do get this position, I will concentrate on what type of projects that will be given to me in the near future, if that is possible. Okay. All right, the next question I have for you is, uh, what do you see yourself doing within the first 30, 30 days of this job? first 30 days, I will be trying to help myself on what is available for me in this company. Because when you work at a company, a large company, um, you get lost and like you come back from lunch break and you come, there, people would ask, oh, where are you at? Be like, I got lost because I, did, I don't know the floor plan of this company. and for me to also uh, meet as much of the employees in order to familiar myself on what to expect within this company with the other employees and to be in good, good terms and good standing with other employees as well. Okay. Uh, next question, last question I have for you is describe your greatest professional achievement. I worked as a certified nurse assistant for three years. The first year, 
um, I was working with a registered nurse and there was a code blue. What is a code blue? A code blue is when a person's, when a, a patient's heart stops okay. more than for 10 seconds. But as soon as a patient a, a experiences a cold blue, an alarm goes off throughout the entire hospital. I was coming back from the re a restroom, and a nurse approached me. I followed her, didn't ask her any questions, and she asked me to perform CPR on the patient until the patient started breathing again. And then uh, two days after that incident, I was, I, I was mentioned that I will be going through counseling for six months. And I went through the counseling and finished it. Okay. And what kind of, what was the outcome over everything after that happened? Did they uh, reward you in any kind of way? Yes, I was rewarded um, to transfer to L&D, labor and delivery. That transfer was requested by me prior to the incident. So two weeks after the incident, I was asked if I still wanted to transfer to that specific unit, and I said yes. They transferred me after two weeks. Awesome, awesome. Okay, well, April, thank you for coming in today. We appreciate it. Um, do you have any questions for me? No, I do not. Okay, thank you awesome. so much for asking. All right, so it's going to take me a, a little bit of time to go over all the application, applications for this position. Um, you know, you should expect to see a call from us probably in the next few days or so, all right? Okay, so you have all my information in order to contact me? Yes, it's on your Okay, thank you so much. All right, thank you for coming in. Thank you. Have you. a wonderful day. You too. Bye-bye.